Greg Swartz calls it taking the long view of land use at the Willow Wisp Organic Farm in Damascus, Pennsylvania. He and his wife bought this 12-acre tract four years ago, where they grow a variety of vegetables, herbs, and flowers. By eliminating the use of chemicals and pesticides, organic farming protects the soil and the important organisms found in the earth. Uh, when you don't treat the soil uh, in ways to uh, promote that life, then you end up with crops that are less healthy, and you also end up to uh, destroying that soil and the soil life there. In June of 2010, an exploratory natural gas well was drilled on the land right behind this farm. Swartz says the rig was erected on his son's second birthday. Besides the constant noise and truck traffic, he and his family suffered through one especially scary episode when a strong odor was detected coming from the well site. It took several calls and days before the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection finally sent inspectors out. He was told the DEP's mobile air monitoring unit couldn't be sent to his property because it was deployed elsewhere. Swartz says the experience confirmed his worst fears. The speed at which fracking is spreading throughout the state is far greater than the speed at which the state is able to add the administrative and review staff and maybe even more importantly the uh, inspection staff to uh, uh, make sure that the industry is doing this uh, up to the bare bones regulations. Hollister Creek, which has been designated a high value stream by Pennsylvania, runs next to this farm and the well site. The water from it is used to help grow these crops. It eventually flows into the Delaware River only a few miles away. If there is an event, it's going to travel very quickly from this ridgetop well site to the Delaware River and to all of our neighbors to the south. At the Eminence Road Farm Winery in Hancock, New York, the owners also use natural practices. We're not adding industrial yeast or enzymes or wood chips to the wine. We try and add as little to the wine and then we don't fine or filter so we don't take anything away either. Jennifer Clark depends on the pure, clean spring water to clean the barrels, presses and other equipment. She's concerned that runoff containing chemicals used for natural gas drilling or fracking could spoil that supply. Right now, only a few exploratory wells have been approved here, but regulators may soon open the area to drilling. Swartz and Clark both believe their businesses won't survive if fracking is permitted in the Delaware River watershed. If the water went bad, if the air goes bad, we would have to leave. Um, we'd have to start all over somewhere else, which would be very difficult. When I sell my product, in addition to being certified organic by the USDA, um, I'm also putting my name and my word that I'm selling a product that's clean, healthy, and without any chemical residues. Natural gas extraction uses large amounts of water during the fracking process. Drillers, farmers, other businesses, and the public may end up competing for the same supply. Environmentalists oppose fracking in the Delaware River watershed, saying it will ruin this pristine area. Every day new information is coming out about how gas drilling damages our ecosystems, our communities, our air quality, our water quality, the health of the citizens, um, and the businesses that are not part of the gas drilling industry, how they are damaged by gas drilling when it barrels in to a community. And neither Pennsylvania, nor the Basin Commission, nor New York, nor the federal regulators are taking the breath necessary to identify, understand, and embrace all of this new science, all of this new information. The natural gas industry is already leasing lands from hundreds of property owners in order to get access to areas where they will drill. The fear is that the little guy will be squeezed out by big gas. Thing is, when we destroy the cachet that is the Delaware River watershed, right, we destroy not just the businesses that are the wineries and, and you know, agriculture and, and that carry that organic label, but all of the ecotourism industries that are growing and thriving in the Delaware River Basin, you know, boating, fishing, bed and breakfast, the road tours for people who like to, you know, drive through on their Sunday drive to see the beauty of the region. All of those businesses crash when the cachet that is the basin gets lost, and it will get lost if drilling is allowed to come in. Our business is under direct threat and my family is under direct threat. There's going to be a moment that I'm going to have to decide when uh, we cannot safely grow food 
and even before that, when my wife and I decided that we can't safely raise our three-year-old son here. And what's interesting about this to me is that it's going it's to have to be us that have to make that decision. There's no other person or agency or entity out there that's going to help me make the decision about the safety uh, for my family or the, the uh, sanctity of the product that we grow and sell.